Eclipse Oxygen 2 is an update release of Eclipse Oxygen, the great annual simultaneous release of more than 80 Eclipse projects. Eclipse Oxygen 2 was released on September 20, 2017. Here are some Java, Git and C, C++ bug fixes and improvements of Oxygen 2 for your Eclipse IDE. The following four bugs were caused by the Java 9 support introduced in Oxygen 1A three months ago and have been fixed in Oxygen 2. If a Java project depends on another project, and if a class is used that is contained in a jar in the other project, and if Java 9 is used to run it, then no more no class def found error is thrown at runtime. Exporting to a runnable jar file, which was broken in Oxygen 1A, works again now. Also, an ant built file in a non Java project can now be run in a separate Java runtime environment again. In a module info, requiring a deprecated module that is not resolved by default in Java 9 now works without tweaks. In the project's Java build path, jar files can now be moved between the module path and the class path via drag and drop. That works also for projects now. In Git staging view, there are now buttons to add all files to the index, to remove all files from the index, and to add or to remove the selected files to or from the index. An add or remove button is also shown on hovering selected files. The plus and minus icons are also displayed in the right-click menu. New are the two functions Assume Unchanged and Untrack. The new Git repository switcher is in the Git staging, in the Git reef log, in the Git interactive rebase, and in the history view. In the history view, the icon to disable filtering has been changed. Also in the Git repositories view, the icons to add an existing, to clone, and to create a Git repository have been redesigned. The C, C++ Docker container launch support is not included in the Eclipse IDE for C, C++ developers and has to be installed manually. It allows you to compile and execute C, C++ code in a Docker container which can be shared. Let's see how this works on Windows with a Linux container. In this example, Docker is installed locally, so all we need is an image. For instance, the official GNU compiler collection version 6 image. In the file, new C C++ project dialog, we choose the C++ Hello World project template with the Linux GCC toolchain. In the project properties, C C++ build, settings, in the tab container settings, enable build inside Docker container and choose the image. Now we are ready to build the project in the container. To run the build executable in the container, just click the Run button and choose C C++ Container Application. That's it! Another new feature are warning suppression comments. In the line with a warning, click Ctrl plus 1 and choose Suppress Problem. The support for the keyboard decal type has been improved. On mouse over, the declaration is shown. And hitting F3 navigates to the declaration. The code formatter is also available as a command line application, for example to run it on a server.
These were some improvements of Oxygen 2, the update released in the last quarter of 2017. Download and read more about Eclipse Oxygen at eclipse.org slash oxygen. If you haven't seen it yet, watch also the previous videos about the two Oxygen releases showing many more IDE improvements. Thank you for watching and happy coding!